and for everyone to get to know candidates on the ballot uh, next month. So tonight, um, we really wanted to offer space for those conversations. I'm hoping this format was something you appreciated. If not, or if you did like it, please let me know um, following the event. I do have some students here with me tonight as well. All of them have an interest in public service. So if you had the opportunity to talk to them, um, let them know what you think. Uh, any advice you have for them is also welcomed. At this time, I'm going to allow each candidate a minute with a microphone to introduce I'm currently themselves. I'm a councilman at large uh, in the City of Alliance. I'm here tonight with my wife, uh, my three kids, Jen, Dylan, Carter, and Elena. Uh, I am the chairman of the Streets and Alleys Committee uh, for City Council, and uh, one of my main goals coming up for uh, the next couple of years is to get our streets in line. And I think uh, doing that will attract new business and uh, new entrepreneurship to the city of Alliance. We're here in Alliance right now, uh, running for re-election. Uh, this will be my second term on, as on uh, Council Fourth Ward. I was at large before that, and I spent 16 years on the school board before that. Um, I've, I've lived here in Alliance for over 40 years. I have two, two grandchildren, three grandchildren. Uh, semi-retired. I have worked numerous different uh, types of jobs and uh, I, I try to bring that background to uh, the council and uh, I would appreciate your uh, vote next month. Thank you. I'm a note person. Thank you. My name is Andy Grove. I'm council, presently council at large, and I'm here, of course, running this year to retain my position. Uh, I bring 44 years of uh, private business experience and also a year and a half now uh, working on city council as finance chairman and also claims committee chairman. Uh, I offer uh, strong finance uh, experience, effective communications skills, and I also uh, base every decision that we do on the facts, not emotions, not rumors. And you know what? You get a lot done that way. Alliance, the last nine years, has been in a deficit spending uh, budget form of operation. And of course, we're placing fiscal watch uh, from the state auditors of Ohio. And of course, with that, I team with Mary Andriani and Mr. Uh, Kevin Knowles, city auditor, and we put in place a lot of new standards of, of operations that we have implemented and how we operate the city and uh, on the finance side of it, that is. And of course, there's the new uh, spirit that we put in of team compromise. Uh, together as a team, we've regained the citizens' confidence here in Alliance. And of course, we've eliminated the deficit spending budget form of operation. And of course, uh, Mary Andriani's fiscal watch recovery plan has really taken taken root and has a great foundation and of course it's proving itself it's it's working well and of course with that we've turned the finances back into black and of course we're looking to get out of the fiscal warning uh, this uh, by the end of this fiscal year uh, the state of alliance is in a good strong fiscal and internal operations mode of operation and we feel good about that because if as you see around town there's a lot of uh, uh, internal operation things that are happening and you're seeing infrastructure, you're seeing capital needs getting filled, you see the streets getting repaired, and that's all part of when the numbers are good, everything's good, and also when the numbers are good, people want to invest in Alliance, and that's exactly what we're there for. So uh, I look, I'm uh, asking for your vote uh, come November, and I promise uh, I won't let you down. I'll serve you with, uh, uh, with trust and uh, uh, gratitude and honor. Thank you very much, I won't let you down. I'll be real brief. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Sheila Cherry. I'm the first ward councilman, and I've been on council for the last six years. I'm unopposed, but yet and still, I'm still a politician as well. It's all about alliance and trying to make alliance a better place. And I chair the Property and Lands Commission. As the mayor mentioned about building a better town and corridors and streets and alleys, as Chris has mentioned, we're all working together as a team to make Alliance a better place, aesthetically as well as cohesive, so we can all be community again. And for all the candidates that's here tonight, I praise you for even stepping up to come to want to change Alliance and make Alliance better. And good luck to all. Good evening, my name is Cindy King. 
I'm second ward councilwoman here in the city. I don't have the <laughs> education or the, I've always been trained by my parents um, to gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, but most of all to get understanding. And I am, I'm learning as I've gone along these last four years. And it's been trying, <laughs> it's been interesting. I'm just a plain Jane, and I never imagined in a million years that I would be sitting in the seat that I sit on council. But I'm glad that I am because I believe, as I chose to stay in Alliance, born and raised here, Alliance High School graduate, I'm home, so I have to make a difference. I want to change some type of course of history. I'm head of the CDBG, Community Development, the NIP program, and they've torn down 200 homes down in our areas, and it's really made a big difference. The dilapidated, con condemned homes, and the city is really working hard, and we have to work even harder to keep these areas nice, because this is what we've asked for. And I have open door policy. If you Google me, everything about me comes up. I have a landline, and I have a cell phone. So I'm here to serve the people. I'm not here to serve Cindy. I'm here to serve all the people. And I just want to say also to the candidates running tonight, I wish you well. And Everyone, you better I'm know what you're getting ready to step into. I'm running into. for city council at large. As a new father, I now understand the concept of it takes a village to raise a child. The city of Alliance and its people have been my village, helping, me, helping to shape my life and my future. I'm grateful to all those who brought me here to, at this moment wanting to give back uh, to Alliance. I'm the fourth generation in my family to call Alliance home. Um, I, I started a, a small company here, Alliance or Ani Shades, uh, and I currently now work alongside my family at Alliance Ventures, uh, helping to develop and grow uh, Alliance uh, in a commercial way. I want to bring my past experiences, specifically in owning a business, small business, and in development to the table. My focus is on the future, uh, working with businesses to create jobs, looking what we as a city can do uh, to make it as easy as possible to attract and retain current businesses, uh, such as helping to modernize our building department and making it easier uh, for companies to access our UDAG loans. I'm focused on forming and implementing a sustainable infrastructure plan. Uh, that includes both being financially sustainable and incorporating ways to be more environment, environmentally sustainable. And I want to help in decisions to, that will create a city that will motivate young families to move to our city and help it grow. As you know, Alliance is great. Let's continue the momentum. Uh, let's focus on the future and uh, please vote for me uh, this fall. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Frank Manier. I'm uh, running for council for Third Ward. I am unopposed. First of all, I want to say thank you, Abby. Thank you, Mount Union, for uh, putting this together so we can meet some of our constituents out front. Um, I'm a married man with uh, my wife for 17 years. We have five children and ages 23 to twin girls that are seven and adopting a 22-month-old uh, who's been with us since he was five days old. I'm a small businessman. I own two restaurants in town, um, and uh, I just feel being on council as a third ward uh, gives me another way of getting back to the community uh, that has been so gracious to us. Uh, we've lived here 23 years, 22 years, and uh, looking forward to uh, being third ward council. Uh, I've always strong and believe uh, getting an answer to my constituents. Uh, I typically respond within 24 hours with an answer or up to 72 hours. So feel free to give me a call. My number, my email is on the city website. Again, thanks for coming up. Uh, good, e good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Brian Semione. I'm currently your councilman at large. I would also like to thank Abby and Mountain Union tonight for having us. Um, the three committees I sit on is uh, utilities, community development, and planning, zoning, and housing. And the one thing that um, 
one thing I was able to do with the uh, planning, zoning, and housing this year is I was able to introduce the uh, do not knock registry uh, ordinance, which basically keeps unwanted solicitors uh, coming around to your house. That's something I've been proud of. I was able to uh, be the sponsor of that. I currently have, uh, I have two kids at uh, Aaron and Chelsea, and they're both adults. One thing that I'm sort of proud about with that is that we hear that a lot of kids graduate from Alliance or Martinton, they move away from Alliance, that's all we hear. Uh, my son and daughter is actually uh, still staying here and they're making Alliance their home. My son is actually uh, right now going to Kent State, he commutes, he does live with me. Also, I'm currently celebrating my 30th anniversary with my business, it's a small tech and communications business, which um, I'm also proud that I've been able to keep that in alliance. It's not a real big business, and most of my work, unfortunately, is not in alliance. I do a lot of traveling for that, but it's been very successful. It's been able to keep me, you know, make a decent living and, you know, take care of my kids and my family. And lastly, um, I have to thank Kathleen Purdy. If it wasn't for you, Kathleen, my biggest supporter, and without you, I couldn't, you know, campaign. I just wanted to thank all of you for being here, and thank you to our candidates uh, for taking an interest in our community. That's really the goal of tonight and the goal of um, the program programming of the regular center. So again, thank you all for being here. We'll stick around um, for another probably hour or so. If you want to talk to additional community members, you're welcome to do so and use this space. And again, thank you.